Hello, I am Vikram with IBM QRadar team and in this video we will cover how to create a time series graph in QRadar. Let us now log into our QRadar box. To create a search, go to log activity tab. We have already seen how to create searches in QRadar in our previous videos. Click on new search. Now I'll select the search that I would want to load and extend to create a graph. Let me select an event rate search. I would click on load. This will load the search parameters of this predetermined search in QRadar. Next, let us scroll down. Now the event rate EPS search is already checked to be included in my quick search that is on the log activity tab in the search then included in my dashboard that means the search that we are going to create using this search will be available to create a dashboard item then if you want you can set it as a default search and then check mark which is shared with everyone so that it would be available for other users also to search and utilize it for their dashboard items. Here we would be selecting the time range, the data accumulation features if we want. And in the column definition page, we would select a group by item. Here it's the parent, which is the CEP, which is custom. So I have kept it as it is you can select any column from the available column list. And these are the values which will be displayed when we search. You can either move the values up and down by selecting and using the arrow keys. I'll just now click on search. Now, when the search is completed, we can either save the results or save criteria. The criteria that we see over here, we can use it and create a new search out of it. I'm giving it a name saying test underscore EPS. Then we can assign this search to a particular group, which will be loading over here. Let me select uh, system monitoring. I'll make it part of system monitoring group. Then the time span options, I would keep it as it is for last 15 minutes. These are the values for the new search. If you remember, these values included my quick search, share with everyone, set as default, included my dashboard was selected. But remember, that was the search that we were trying to extend by using a previously available search. By clicking on save criteria, we are creating a new search itself. Hence, I am selecting yes, include it in my quick searches so that it is available in my quick searches on the toolbar. Click on share with everyone so that other users can use it. And I have checked the include in my dashboard so that this search can be used further to create dashboard widgets. I'm clicking OK, which will be then saving this search. It says your search was saved successfully. So if you see now the name is test EPS. Now let us create a dashboard item over here. So on this dashboard, I'll click the add item, log activity, event searches, and then the search that we just now created test EPS. Now remember this search was available because we had selected the checkbox saying include in my dashboard. So if you see over here, a test EPS count is added. So click on the settings page for the newly added dashboard item. Select the capture time series checkbox to enable the time series capture. Let us select the chart type as time series, the time range that we want. Since we selected chart type as time series, it has taken value to graph as even per second coil list. 
you can change this to any of the column name that you want to provide to your time series graph select display item so how much 5 or 10 that we want to select and our time series graph will be loaded this is how we create a time series graph in QRadar. Thank you for joining us. If you need more assistance, use the links in the description.